This is a request by Adam Onaha. I hope I'm pronouncing your last name right. Um, I believe it's Japanese. So thank you for your request. Now, a lot of you guys sent emails and I had to sift through it because it's, it's honestly a lot of requests, but I had to ground it to like one idea. I want to thank everybody who took place in request week two. I mean, you guys pulled in work to like actually tell what you needed. And then I grounded it down in videos all this week. Um, I will eventually go back to personals just uh, dealing with the flu was not, you know, it's not fun. <laughs> it's not fun at all. But I kept hearing a song for you guys today. I'm gonna move my big ass coffee. We're gonna go with the Eight of Wands as a huge message for the entire day. It's the Eight of Wands. Let me show you the Eight of Wands I'm staring at because it's a reminder card. It's right here on a, uh, a setup where I can view it. So I have the energy out, okay? Eight of Wands was a big card in both of your readings, no matter where it ended, where it landed, where it sat. And so I kept getting a song. Do you guys remember? Uh, I think it's D'Angelo. Um, could be D'Angelo, where he says, how does it be? Um, and so I kept getting that. Excuse me, the conditions in the, in the room don't cause me to go for the full vibrato. Um, but it was, how does it feel? So I don't know if someone is trying to project those feelings heading your way. D'Angelo is the artist. We got um, our little crystal here. I don't know how does it feel might be the energy today. We're gonna go with the dream ritual. What are they trying to say with some flippers? Let's half it. I got all my big, actually like my big cards out today. Strength, look at that. Even in the Leo energy that you got in both readings, which I think synchronicity is amazing. I think it's relationship to us as humans. It shows us like clockwork that it's always going to come out. So we do have a shipwreck here. Um, it reminds me of the tower. Okay, so someone views you as really mentally strong. You're able to take it and take it. How does it feel? We have balance, Libra and energy. I told you I'm getting stuff about clocks. I'm getting clocks. <laughs> and so today this can be your process or how you value process. You're balancing yourself, okay? Priorities are that, look how beautiful that is. I used to like an artist when I was a kid. Um, he was, he always did like children's books and he drew this way. You're going through the passage of time from the ship also to this clock, working through time's movement, sometimes unforgiving, but also very balanced, okay? So I think here, your angels want to work with you and keep you alert. There's something about time. And the third card for today, special message for the singles. We have ego. Ego is a big part of why somebody maybe is a runner and you're more of the person that stayed in focus. Libras are very loyal people. This is for the Libra singles. But I'm also sensing there's water sign Libras because I'm seeing it. <laughs> and we also have soul work. All right, going through the soul patterns, feeling everything from vivid music. You might even be led back to a particular song, just like D'Angelo was channeled right now. How does it be? <laughs> and so, and um, I love D'Angelo because he was always like very naked in his music video. So I don't know if somebody wants to come clean. Um, they might wanna bring their soul to yours as well. So singles, there is someone here that wants to actually contact um, I think they did waste your time in balance. Okay, so you may have gotten that back lately. You may have got Stella got her groove back in this time card. Um, I don't know if someone like requests your presence to Queen of Wands because that's the court card you came at us today. Let me get that card on the floor and I'm going to have to do some weird move. <laughs> I don't care. Intuition. We have, yeah, definitely High Priestess. You could have been dealing with a Pisces due to the fish. Um, also, I want to mention there's a lot of water energy overall in this reading. It cannot be stampeded over. It's all here. So there is a twin flame contact, which is also going on. We see the moon in the, in the center. Your intuition is activated. Something may have activated you to follow your heart. I think those are big themes of divine masculine and divine feminine these days. They're huge signals of believing in what your heart says. Passion, yeah, compassion. And we also have reflect. It's a time for the hanged man. You're coming to that close as the moon hits the water. Okay, as the moon hits the water. Islands in the stream, that is what we are. Dolly Parton. 
islands in the stream, that is what we are. Could be coming from polar opposites or you realize that your passion is actually residing in a few new things. This is how you take care of yourself. This is your self-care modalities. It's also how you move through life right now and what you're choosing to be inspired by. An example of this, yesterday my nephew was playing his electric guitar. And um, his name is Jensen. He's a very, very bright boy. Um, his mother was American. My brother is Filipino mix. And so when I pick them up from school, they're usually like very into their electronics at home. They're very not in tune with what's going on. They're not in tune with what's going on. And I was peeking through the window and I was waving at them and I was like, come, come, you know, come to the car because I got to back out. I want to be one of the first one to leave. And my nephews are just so happy because they're doing something that they love. The music and the instrumentation is something that's coming back into his life. Everyone's a musician in my family. And so, or they sing, you know, Filipinos. And so um, as he got to the car, he was really happy. And I feel like that's the type of passion that you're feeling too. It's really fire energy and it's catching a spark for my singles. So I don't know if you saw an activity or there's been inspiration because I feel a lot of inspiration coming from that Queen of Wands. Last card too is this egg-shaped reframe card. Reframe your mindset. It's good to change it because it might not be as awful or as unsuitable for you too. Clarified with reframe. Beautiful cards. If you would actually like to get these oracles and you don't want to deal with tarot, because I realize tarot can be frightening for some people, uh, I will list these cards. It's called the Dream Ritual and the artist is absolutely fantastic. Okay, something having to do with time. Maybe single, you feel like, I don't know, the story has been maybe I'm running out of time. It's like Alice in Wonderland and that that rabbit is chasing her around the Wonderland. And maybe it's not as bad as you think. Reframe. Okay. Reflect too. There's another R word. And we go to the possibles of the recent past. Let's do that. This is a special request, of course, by a male Libran, which is really cool for today. I was excited to see that. I was like, there's a male Libra up in here requesting stuff. And let's see the recent past. Hearts Hidden Secret. Sidetrack change delays that could be happening today. We have um, lusting, forbidden, non-committal. There's sexual energy. So definitely somebody lusting after you. We'll see if a King of Wands comes out. Forbidden, non-committal sexual energy that's really strange that she's caught up in that curtain we have fantasy it says daydreaming imagine imagining and fantasizing excuse me um definitely you're an element of someone's attraction someone here like looks at your pictures quite a bit i looked at lusting someone does have a collection of photos or they have a way of collecting it i don't know from instagram or something like that only you devoted, attached, and craving is that third one. And then we also have uh, beauty, charming, graceful, kind-hearted. This is coming out as the Empress card. So if you got a beast around you, masculine energy, they're viewing you as someone that is adorable, kind, graceful, kind-hearted, as the photo reveals. This looks like it's... um coming from a source that's new. I feel like these are definitely Queen of Wands associated cards, okay? They're looking at you as attractive. The beauty card also came out and you have a gentle side of you. Gentle giant is what's coming in. The recent past is someone could have been definitely chasing you for your looks, point blank and period. And you're realizing here that the truth is coming out. Ace of Swords, walking away, letting go of the past clarification and confirmation for somebody today and you're better off on the perspective that you're currently on okay if you're not convinced you got a single card here to say so today perspective says clear headspace better off in happiness we got chem i told you i felt a spark even coming in the room today it's like you have a, a definite new person the sparks here in katie perry's firework card it says spark passion attraction spark passion, attraction, and then we also have healing. The choice that you're learning through is that there's also different ways of cleansing your aura space. Maybe some of you are going back to the church of your youth, or it's something about studying about spirituality. 
The other day I was led to YouTube videos of the Assad sisters. I watched the first, the older sister, her name is Lena, I believe. And um, I was raised primarily Roman Catholic. You know, Filipinos, the Irish, they're really Catholic. And so I was watching how they live through their Muslim teachings. One of them is a hijab, so she wears it all the time. I believe it's the eldest sister. And so you're learning through other people's accounts, okay? Important video for the single. Let's see what the communication says for you. The tower is at the bottom of the deck, of the tattoo. We have a Knight of Cups. Told you, this, is, this spark is coming from somebody, okay? Second day with the Knight of Cups. We also have a King of Wands. Oh, holy, holy cow with a ring through its nose. The King of Wands is also here, Aries Leo Sagittarian. The Emperor, Aries. The Knave of Wands, the Page of Wands. Excitement. They can see a relationship with you. Singles, you're getting messages. The Six of Swords, which I'll show you matches with another complete like Oracle card. It's exciting. It's quite exciting. I was like, is it the Seven of Swords? Because I'm just talking through my butt. No, it's actually matching. So we have healing here with the modalities that you've chosen. And I told you I came across like channels that were being recommended to me on my feet. So maybe that's how you're going to get a message is you're going to be connected through communication of some kind. We also have the Death card, the Page of Cups, the Ace of Wands for the singles. You might realize that you have cards that connect to another reading today on the channel or they're similar. This Knight of Cups is going to go through clarification because he deserves it. And this is the how do you feel type of person, you know, that's D'Angelo. So let's get into it. We have a couple cards we can draw. What's their feelings? Chariot. This person's gaining movement toward you. Traveling also. What else popped out here? They could be a King of Pentacles from the Light Seers. This is a loyal incoming relationship. My singles, this is not a lazy person who watches Seinfeld on Friday nights and drinks beer. That is a King of Pentacles, which means they're loyal. And we also have the Empress. Their feelings are the Empress. Their feelings are these cards. So, and I'm just, I'm trying to have a different energy and energy in our readings. This Empress is Taurus and Libra, mainly a Libra card. But we see that they're attracted to your out, maybe stature outside, or there's something here to collect from your energy, which means um, they can provide for you. They also feel like you can easily connect on a one-to-one -one basis. They feel the spark with you naturally. It's not something that can be conducted in a lab. Um, they feel it from the first touch of when you speak. Okay, the Empress card. Heavy card as emotions. I just, I even, that took me aback that that even flipped right now. The energy is just so ripe. If you look at her, she's like a soft, juicy fruit. No one has bitten into this Empress at all. Okay, but this Empress is healing. That's where she's traveling or that's where her road has been. Six of Swords to the Empress. It's also an air card to back up an air card. Show me one last card for emotions and then we're going to end it here for the empresses and the emperors on the channel. Remember that empress can be you in masculine energy as well. Ace of Cups. It's an offer of love and a new beginning. If you guys remember the Light Seer's version, you'll always recognize the lavender dress of which she's approaching with a cup of love. It looks like an espresso that's been dyed with strawberry dye. But she's opening her heart to be a, somebody say it, it's a receiver. You're in receiving mode. So this person is traveling and they could be Cancerian too. They could also be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn if you want me to list the signs. But it's traveling to become closer to the energy of the Empress. Do you know how big that attraction even is? It's because you are just solidly yourself. Solid. Let's get some um, icon cards for the singles. And I'm sure your Knight of Cups, if you haven't yet known who they are, their identity is probably being hidden for a particular reason. So you might not even know this person yet. Can I see the turnovers for the um, Libra and Taurus card here of the Empress? This one. We have a couple. Okay, that's the chariot. Ships, wars, and battles. Okay, definitely indicative of travel. 
this person is emotional because they could be a water sign indicated with these icon cards and the wars and battles means that I think they've had to overcome things too. They're overcoming maybe even here a fear or maybe a trapped feeling from recent. So I think they're coming overcoming a battle. They do have to travel toward your energy and overcome this. Also, wars and battles can be indicative of tough times that are ending for this person. My singles. Thank you for your time. This is your third video. Um, I'm not sure if the last one I'm going to do the family reading today. There's a couple questions I want to add for the family reading. We might push that to tomorrow just because I wanted that to be a full scope reading with zodiac signs. I do want to thank you for your time and all of your due diligence. It's been a pleasure reading for you today. And Libras in this collective, I'm very proud of you if this is your story because you're ending up with your primary arcana card and it's brought you back to the original you. Thank you for your time.